today's video, Bigsby and I are going to go over how to teach the cue play dead. So stay tuned. product advice, be sure to hit subscribe to my channel and hit the bell to be notified when I post a new video every Wednesday. And for those of you who don't know me, my name is Lisa. I've dog sat and trained hundreds and hundreds of dogs and puppies, and I love sharing my advice with all of you. So today, when we go over how to teach play dead, we're going to use a technique called shaping, which is rewarding successive approximation towards the final behavior. I'm also going to use a technique called luring, so I'm going to use a combination of shaping and luring, which is using the treat to get him into the position that I am asking. So let's get right into it. The prerequisite is knowing it down, so be sure you know that. And then I'm gonna take my teeny tiny tasty treat and try to lure him into the position. Now at first he's probably gonna be really uncomfortable, so I'm just gonna click him for any movement in the direction that I want. he's pretty consistently going on his back, then I'm gonna add in, or I'm gonna um, lure less and less. So you'll see I don't have to do as much work for him to get into the position like I did in the beginning. Oh boy. From there, once he's doing it pretty regularly, I'm gonna add in my pew. For me, I like to do a friendly pew pew versus a bang. Good boy. And then I'm going to repeat that multiple times. Pew pew! Pew pew! Good boy. That was so good. All right, and here is the final result. Pew pew! Good boy. I shouldn't say final result because you can start to build in more duration as well. And that's a super fun party trick. If you want more fun party tricks like this, be sure to download my free party trick training guide. All right, thanks everyone. And I will see you in the next video. Bye for now.